Yeah, the party underway here. Preakness week feels like it is now fully underway. So you had the post position draw, only eight horses. Interestingly then, only one of them actually ran in the Kentucky Derby. That, however, is the champion Mage, so that's a very good thing. And they have just concluded the post position draw, and Mage is indeed the favorite. He will come out of the three hole, opening line odds at eight to five. We take a look then at who is coming in as your second favorite. It is first mission, trained by Brad Cox, written by Luis Saez in the eight hole at five to two. And uh, National Treasure, Bob Baffert, four to one. Yeah, Bob Baffert has a horse back again. Uh, he is no longer banned from any of this. John Velasquez will be aboard there at four to one. Those are your top three horses. Also interesting to see Coffee with Chris. Yeah, we got a local horse trained by John Salzman Jr. Uh, he'll be out of the four hole at 20 to one odds. Want to keep an eye on him. Maybe we'll have some uh, good value there. Certainly familiar with the track and the longest shot in the entire field at 50 to one, whew, chasing chaos. Hey, maybe that would be some chaos indeed. Uh, out of the two hole, trained by Ed Moger Jr., ridden by Sheldon Russell. Now earlier today, yes, your Preakness favorite at eight to five, Mage hit the track at Old Hilltop, jogging a mile and a half and doing so very comfortably, uh, says trainer Gustavo Delgado Jr. This horse has so very well taken to every step of the way along this trip on the Triple Crown. It's interesting, didn't race as a two-year-old. They wanted to bring him along slowly, a horse with such talent, such promise, but also a little bit of immaturity. He's got a lot of personality, so they wanted to be slow with him, and he has continued to get better, though, each time out, and that's what has them so excited about the possibility of what he might do this Saturday. But Romero Rospero, who went ahead and took a gamble with the purchase for Mage, talks about what it means to be on this stage and how important it is to him to be there for everyone and bring back some, maybe some new fans to horse racing. Horse racing is a sport that those of us who love it wish it grabbed the attention of like the NBA and the NFL on a year-round basis. So when the world does turn to look at us, I think it's our responsibility to provide accessibility and to you know, shine racing in a, in a positive light and, and let uh, everybody, you know, gotta get a clue in onto the behind the scenes of a Derby winner. And we've got much more coming up tomorrow with Rospero as we talk about the decision and the journey, what it took to go ahead and buy this horse. It almost didn't happen, but it did happen right oh, close by in Timonium. So a great story coming all of that for you tomorrow at 5. Meanwhile, live from the Preakness post-position draw at the Guinness Brewery, Pete Gilbert, WBAL, TV 11 Sports.